All right, it's time for another hieroglyph. So what is this one that looks just like a simple little line? That's what we'll get into in just a moment. Welcome to Voices of Ancient Egypt. If you're new here, I'd love it if you'd click subscribe and ring that bell so you don't miss future videos like this one. All right, so this one is actually probably one of the very few that doesn't need any explanation of what it pictures. It's just a line. It's just a straight line, a little dash here for you. So how was it used in ancient Egyptian? Well, it could actually be used in a few different ways. One way was actually as a number, and this is used in writing the numbers one through nine, and I will actually get into that meaning in the next video when I launch into some numbers. In this video, I'm gonna focus on the other couple of uses for this dash. So one use is one we've seen actually in some previous videos, which is it can accompany a hieroglyph that's being used as an entire word. So some Egyptologists call these logograms, some refer to them as ideograms. The idea is, so for example, if you have the house sign, which is pair, P-R, it's in this case with the dash is letting you know that we're using this simply as the word for house, rather than another word that you might use pair in, such as go out, which has instead the determinative of the walking legs. And if you're not familiar with what a determinative is, I do recommend you pick up my half hour hieroglyphs guide. It's free and I'll link that in the description. All right, so in addition to the use of having it be this sort of marker for a logogram, also oftentimes this dash will actually be used just as a space filler. The ancient Egyptians were very concerned with the aesthetics of hieroglyphs and they didn't wanna have any sort of awkward empty spaces or gaps. So if you had a word that when you spelled it out, you had some larger hieroglyphs and some smaller hieroglyphs, and you were left with this awkward open space, a lot of times they'll just throw this dash in there just to take up a little extra room. All right, I'll see you in the next video when we get into numbers.